<laughs> I'll, I'll just yeah. want to keep cruising and I'll take care of it. I don't know. Sure, go ahead. Do one more stage and I guess I'll do two stages. Alright. Let's party and build down. Yu Gi Oh! GX. Principal. <laughs> Principal Shepherd. That bald dude. The principal guy. Oh my god, it's been so long since I watched Yu Gi Oh! GX. I don't remember. Tyranno has some. The dinosaur guy, also from Yu Gi Oh! GX. And the Priz, funny enough, considering Impel Down's coming up, the uh, the uh, penitentiary warden from Yu-Gi-Oh! 5Ds. And video games. I never touched that show once. It's actually the best of them all. I've... Even better than the original. So if you were ever to go back to any of them, I would recommend 5Ds. It's not that weird one that's in, like, space with some really weird dual discs, is it? And the kid has, like, a scatter on. No. It, this is the one with... No, that says Excel. This is the one with card games on motorcycles. Right. And if you can get past that, it actually is a good, very well-written show. I can handle shows if they have really weird gimmicks, if they're done well. Okay. Oh, by the way, now I, I'm surprised I didn't do it sooner, but it's time for, to party with Zoro. Nice. Video games. One Piece, Grand Battle. Uh, Buggy the Clown, Arlong, Shadow the Hedgehog, SB the Chameleon, One Piece Pirates Carnival slash Grand Adventure... Buggy the Clown, and Arlong. Sonic the Hedgehog, Duke of Soliana. Yeah. <laughs> in any event... Wait, did Hancock just fucking get us in there again? Yep. We haven't even ran into Hancock yet. Oh, then again, Luffy does have connections. Yeah. All right, her so ovaries let's... fucking exploded. <laughs> what from the one time Luffy hugged her in Rainford. <laughs> That's fucking hilarious. Okay, so this guy actually, uh, the Funimation guy, Bruce Carey, apparently does stuff, he just doesn't have very many credits yet. He was in Lupin, Lupin the Third, the woman called Fujiko Mine, as the president. He was in Shakugando Shana, the final season, as Snake of the Festival. Hmm. <laughs> It was in Toriko as some pirate looking motherfucker. Irony. Let's see. Oh, I get it. It's that he it's that he's just never had any big roles. Ah, the usual curse that befalls a lot of act voice actors in that case. That and total counting he's had one, two, three, six ten roles ever. Ha! <laughs> oh my god. And despite what some of you might think, that is nothing considering they're all, they're all basically tantamount to bit parts. Hmm. Anyway, Impel Down. This place is, um, it's not nearly as navigational heavy as um, it was in Pirate Warriors 1, but it's still a little tricky. There's some stuff you gotta know up front. Um, I always thought that while I was playing this level that when you walk up to those doors that they were just automatically sealed. No, you can actually just walk up to them and they'll automatically open for you. Yep. Anyway, so shit about Zoro. <laughs> it's we're going down this lane again. Um, okay, so Zoro's really... He's gotten better, but not better enough. As in, like, he's got, like, maybe a couple of good combo extensions from before. Um, but that's really it. <laughs> I ha I hate how they gutted his art, his um, quick draw slash. Because it was like before where it went charge right forward and it did, like, the most damage in the game. Now it's just... It, it lost all of its range. It doesn't do nearly as much damage. But the, but the good thing is that um, when you're firing out, you're totally, you have total invincibility frame, or you have total tube armor, and you don't lose it your charge that easily. So that's very good. Show it off? Yeah, I guess I can. Also, oh yeah, also the cool thing about that. Well, I'll just go. I can just. The tornado? If you press R2, you can actually um, dash cancel out of the initial charge animation. <laughs> Meaning that you can just um, press, quickly hold R2, and just dash out of the way, and it'll start charging. Nice. It's fucking beautiful. Anyways, you're on the clock, so. Yeah, I should definitely. Any other characters are curious? Hmm? Any other characters are curious, though? For actors or whatnot? Oh, um. Not really offhand. I mean, I fucking know who Chris Sabat voices, literally everything ever. <laughs> um. No, not really. Huh. At least not in the realms of like Funimation stuff. What about four kids? Four kids. 
Because they're listed on on any early character pages, too. Yeah. Anywhere up to Skypea. So any characters you might actually know of. Hmm. I, I guess maybe whoever uh, whoever voiced um, Robin in this big uh, with a really bad Ash. Team. Oh, there we go. Okay. Actually, the, the, uh, okay. Then the Cosmo, really uh, Cosmos. That was the harmony. Okay, I just had to make. I just had to check it. It's uh, what was? Goddamn it! Her name was blanking on her goddamn name, but she also played May. And who else did she play? Anyway, so yeah, Zoro also has like this new Ostra attack at the end of his square string, but it looks like it's good range, but I just don't like the damage. And... Well, I like the Taylor. Oh, cool. Sorry. No, it's okay. But, and I also don't like the stun. It, it'll stun enemies very rarely. Huh. Yeah, it only looks really scary. Um, I guess the good thing about him is that um, his really crap Smash 2 is actually a lot better now because it actually has good range. It's not slow as balls. Well, it's a little slow, but it's got range to compensate for that. <laughs> Alright, now I'm curious. Whoever voiced um, Sanji in the, in Four Kids? Oh, this should be good. Because even I don't know too much offhand. The really bad New York accent. I, know, I don't know. Go, actually, we should go back to that game sometime. Uh. We will when, Pirate Carnival. when we get... Actually, that could be good for shits and giggles. But uh, definitely when... Uh, I'm thinking, like, maybe next time we, uh, we can hang out and record the rest of Pirate Wars 2. Yeah. Could, could do, like, right after or something. Yeah. Let's see. David Moo, what might you know him else on? Shoot Fighter Tekken. Shoot Fighter Tekken? What? Yeah, I don't know either. He apparently has not done too much, uh, other than that, at least not too, too much. Have you seen or heard of Night on the Galactic Railroad? Run that name by me again? Night on the Galactic Railroad. Night on the Galactic Railroad. That's apparently something that's pretty old. That sounds like something that's done by the same guy who did Star, uh, Star Blazers. I don't, or Space Battle Shalvin, so it's all, a lot of people probably recognize it as. Yeah. I don't know. Hmm. Yeah, the only other one that immediately comes uh, to mind is uh, Panic from the original Yu-Gi-Oh! That guy from the first season that was basically trying to give uh, Mai a heart attack by ambushing, by ambushing her in the forest at night. The guy that... Uh, Isn't that a zombie kid? No, it was uh, the gigantic... Uh, ass guy that dueled uh, Yugi and he had they were uh, back when they had the arena thingies yeah and he had and he handcuffed him to the arena and he was trying to scare him with flamethrowers <laughs> and he had the uh, the castle monster thing and like all his gimmick was that he was in the dark or something <laughs> it was uh. back when, it was back when they when they didn't know what rules were if you attack if you use the catapult turtle to attack the castle's flotation ring the castle's gonna destroy all of my monsters and I'll lose Oh my god. <laughs> it, you know, it's it's strange not remembering just how fucking bad you go was. That's really, that'd be something actually. It's not, it's not that'd be hilarious just for us to just go back and watch some fucking poor kids dubs. Just for fun. Yeah. Giant Goo Monster again. Oh, yeah, he's got, she got a cutscene. Right. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, I just find it funny how he just shot himself out of the mouth of it. <laughs> like a. Really bad boogie or loogie. Eee. Already there, buddy. Already there. We're halfway there. We're playing Fire Warriors 3 Story Mode. <laughs> nice. I, I kid. This isn't that bad. It's just. Gameplay is good. Story is done. Uninteresting. Skip any and all cuts. Skip any and all dialogue. The cutscenes themselves are actually pretty good. Anyone else who might be curious from four kids? Oh, well, I had a timer just reset. Um, not really, no. Uh-huh. Any one that you find interesting? That would be worth pointing out? Yeah, so falling for the fact that uh, they're still around, and they're, and they're doing LA dubs now. Over at Viz? 
Yeah. Huh, cool. Zoro. Ha! Who is Zoro voice, boy? Mark Darison. Let's see. That actually sounds kind of familiar. I mentioned him a couple of times. Let's see. Guts and Berserk. Okay. <laughs> Fate Zero, Tokyo Tosaka. Oh. Ho, 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 ho. That guy got a good promotion from working at four kids. <laughs> One Piece, Rorno Azoro. Rorno Azolo, I'm sorry. <laughs> you know, Zoro's already English, so. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Sword Art Online, Akihiko Kaiba. Oh, the main dude? Oh, oh god. The main bad guy. Quote unquote. <laughs> <laughs> okay, this is more of an in joke because of their name. Original Yu Gi Oh! Kareem. That's an in joke, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> That's an in joke between me and Bob. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Yu Gi Oh! 5. He's uh, Callan Kessler. He's a guy. He's the guy that used to be the main guy's the main uh, main guy's his best friend, and then he went crazy and murdered a guy because justice. Yeah. And then he went in, and then he went insane for realsies and tried to murder everyone else because murder is fun. It's only Yu-Gi-Oh! Five dudes sounding sounding kind of interesting. It really is. And then after he realized, oh wait, it's wrong to murder people. I should atone. So I'm going. So I'm to go going to go to a town that's going to work me to death. Because apparently me being punished will sort of somehow make it all better. He goes through a character arc. It's pretty neat. At least they care about their fucking villains, I guess. That they do. As opposed to making fucking Pegasus like the quasi god of the series. <laughs> oh yeah, that's right. Fire. Gotta wait for that to go out. That'll happen eventually. Actually, no. Actually, you're no supposed way. to go back up and take out Magellan. I see it. Oops. Let's see. And, uh... Dynasty Warriors 8 Extreme Legends, Fa Zhang. He's a, he's a guy that's, uh... He's actually in, in uh, Eight Empires, if you're all curious. He's a guy that fights with a rug. <laughs> Not kidding. A rug. Yep. And the sad thing is... He's a pretty cool character, but his weapon is garbage. I couldn't begin to imagine why. <laughs> Honestly, the, um, did it, when you make a decision to fight in a Dynasty Warriors game with a rug, you either have the biggest balls ever, or you're just begging to get your ass kicked. Probably somewhere in the middle, honestly. <laughs> and Fucking rug. And you can't even ride it, like that guy that hits people with a canoe, and then rides it to get away. Yeah, why can't you use that like a fucking magic carpet? <laughs> God damn it, that's like a w waste <laughs> opportunity if I ever seen one. <laughs> uh. <laughs> Tech Cody, you guys are disappointing me. <laughs> uh, that's cool. I bet I'm betting the interns over uh, Tech Cody are gonna be seeing our playthroughs and be like, "Hey, that'd be a pretty cool idea, actually." Also, Minotaurus, boom. Nice. And also, because, well, I'm me. <laughs> four kids, Enaru. Enaru got voice four kids? He's in uh, Pirates Carnival and Grand Adventure. Oh my they god, cut don't off remember the that. Fuck. They've, uh, don't run out of time. Don't run out of time. Let's see. Lane Grayson. Let's see. Wait, Gr who Grayson? Wayne Grayson. Okay, that definitely sounds familiar. Why do I recognize that voice? Let's see. I am curious about something. Nope, doesn't work. <laughs> However, I can still beat the shit out of him because swords. Or oh, I probably got rid of that gimmick because... Lance. Here. You know, I, I feel a lot more personally attached to that, but I've never seen Lance in the actual anime. Let's see... Did you like the Ar uh, the Arceus movie? Yeah, it was actually pretty damn good. He's apparently a guy in there named Kevin. <laughs> and uh, he's that one other guy from uh, the Zora Work movie. Cool. You mean the one who doesn't uh, choke out Selby? Yeah, the guy that's not the villain. Okay. 
the uninteresting one in that case. I don't know, I, li I like his sarcasm. I don't remember what someone uh, is uh, saying to him. They're saying something that he finds unbelievable, and his response is, Sure, and I'm his mom. <laughs> okay, I guess you would expect that. <laughs> Queen's Blade, the Exiled Virgin, Ninja Leader. <laughs> Queen's Blade 2, the Evil Eye. Hey, check it out. I got you a gold Kuzar coin. Nice. Hell yeah. Good. TMNT, Michelangelo. Which TMNT? 2003 and Everything Forward. Oh, that one. Yeah, that that's the one I actually fucking watched when I was a kid. Ultimate Muscle, Checkmate, Jaeger, Brocken Jr., Buffalo Man, ne Neptune Man. <laughs> Neptune Man. That's funny for a different reason. That's... I'm not sure if I like where this is going. There's an anime called Triangle. Really? Yeah. Just Triangle. Anywho. Okay. Yu-Gi-Oh! Joey Wheeler. Ah, there we go. <laughs> and uh, I was wondering who was who uh, Joey was voiced by. And uh, uh, Shadi, that guy with uh, the key. Yeah. And uh, Darts, the main villain of season four, uh, the Ori Kalkos, the dude with the blue hair. Oh, the arc I liked. Yeah. And for good reason, damn it. Yu-Gi-Oh! GX, Cyrus Truesdale. Jaden, Jaden's a uh, little uh, uh, bitch of a friend. The, uh, the, 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 little, the little nerd. Yeah, the little bitch with the blue hair. Yeah. Yu-Gi-Oh! 5 Ds. Jesse Wheeler. Jesse Wheeler. Yep. And apparently, in Yu-Gi-Oh! Oh my god, look at Marco's eyes! <laughs> oh hey, we're doing, going to war, by the way, I think. Nice. And in uh, Yu-Gi-Oh! Bonds Beyond Time, apparently he played uh, Yu-Gi's grandfather. Hmm. <laughs> All right. Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> All this money, nothing to do with it. Actually, it's not true, you can still buy items if you want. To get more money! <laughs> mm. The worst thing you can do in this game is buy the items that turn healing items into money. I did- I made a mistake. Oh, yeah, we should probably give that warning to the audience right now. Don't fucking do that! At least not if you're- at least not if, um, you're trying to do underlevel something. Yeah, uh, don't buy these. Any of these. Except, maybe that one, sometimes. But, for the love of God, do not do it on super hard. <laughs> that might be a terrible idea in anyone's ballpark. <laughs> 